your beatitude, your eminence, most reverend bishops, honored guests. Forty years ago, in 1976, like many others here today, I had the opportunity to be present for the third archpastoral visit of Patriarch Josef Cardinal Slippe to Toronto. During that visit, I was impressed by the Ukrainian Catholic community of Toronto and in fact asked for Patriarch Yosef to give me his blessing to apply to St. Michael's College for my graduate studies in theology at this university's Institute of Christian Thought. The director of my MA thesis on the mystical thought of Metropolitan Andrei Sheptitsky was the late Professor Petro Boris Tereshkovich Bilanyuk, Doctor, Doctor. <laughs> 30 years ago, that was 40 years ago, 30 years ago in 1986, I had the privilege of founding the Metropolitan Andrei Sheptitsky Institute of Eastern Christian Studies at Catholic Theological Union in Chicago. About 20 years ago, a young priest by the name of Father Sviatoslav Shevchuk attended our institute's summer program at Holy Transfiguration Monastery, Mount Tabor, in California. Also about that time, Father Peter Galadza defended his doctoral dissertation on the liturgical work of Metropolitan Andrei Sheptitsky at this University of St. Michael's College. Ten years ago, I'm sure something important happened, but I can't remember what. <laughs> Six years ago, in January 2011, the Sheptitsky Institute held its first conversations with St. Mike's about the possibility of relocating here. Two years ago, that young priest I told you about, Sviatoslav Shevchuk, now Patriarch of Kyiv, Halic, and all Rus Ukraine, in this very Canada Hall, said that he would like to see that relocation happen. A little over one year ago, on July 1st, 2015, David Mulroney took over as the seventh president and vice chancellor of the University of St. Michael's College, and that appointment has had immense ramifications for the Catholic identity of this college, as well as for the future of the Sheptitsky Institute. Mr. Mulroney is a man of Catholic vision in both senses of the world, of the word, holistic and universal. A true citizen of the world, he came to St. Michael's after more than 30 years in Canada's public service. A career foreign service officer Mr. Mulroney was Canada's ambassador to the People's Republic of China from 2009 to 2012. Prior to his appointment to Beijing, Mr. Mulroney was assigned to the Privy Council Office in Ottawa as the Deputy Minister responsible for the Afghanistan Task Force, overseeing coordination of all aspects of Canada's engagement in Afghanistan. He also served as secretary to the independent panel on Canada's future role in Afghanistan, the so-called Manly Panel. Mr. Mulroney's other assignments included serving as associate deputy minister of foreign affairs and concurrently as the prime minister's personal representative to the G8 summit. Mr. Mulroney grew up in St. Basil's Parish in Toronto. He was educated at St. Michael's College School and the University of St. Michael's College. He is married to Janet Wakely and has three grown children. David Mulroney is Distinguished Senior Fellow at the University of Toronto's Monk School of Global Affairs, a Distinguished Fellow of the Asia Pacific Foundation of Canada, and an Honorary Fellow of the University of St. Michael's College. He lives in Toronto and is a member of Corpus Christi Parish. His book, Middle Power, Middle Kingdom, What Canadians Need to Know About China in the 21st Century, 
was published by Penguin Canada in 2015. Let me explain to you just one of the many reasons why Father Peter Galaz and I are really excited at the prospect of coming back to our alma mater. At our first meeting with him, it was actually about 10 days into his, uh, into his term as St. Mike's president, at a time when most presidents would say, I'm uh, too busy figuring out what this place is and how it runs. We met with David Mulroney, Father Peter Galazza, Paul Grod, and I heard David Mulroney emphasize at that first meeting that under his presidency, St. Michael's College would again very clearly be the intellectual voice of the Catholic Church speaking into the University of Toronto, the greater Toronto area, and the country and the world beyond. In the 15 months, I think that deserves a hand. Unabashedly of the faith, doing intellectual work for the faith. In the 15 months that followed, he has reinforced this vision through very concrete actions that will have long-lasting repercussions as he and his team work to reverse the trend towards secularization that has plagued and weakened Catholic higher education in North America for decades. Honored guests, I am grateful for the opportunity to introduce to you our main speaker, President David Mulroney. No credible Catholic theologian today can hope to answer important questions about meaning and Christian life without tapping the rich resources of Eastern Christianity. The relocation of the Sheptitsky Institute to St. Michael's is an attempt to make sure that these resources will always be available to us here.